for your support and for those of you who have been following me and commenting and sharing my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you um, a tutorial on doing a centerpiece with a hula hoop and this centerpiece can be used for any occasion you like. Okay, so for this you will need a hula hoop and this I think it's about 20, 22 inches and as you can hear it's got some beads in there which you will need to take out so just separate that take there pull it apart and then shake it out okay and then to spray color of your choice so i've sprayed mine gold and i will just show you how easily it pulls apart there it is there's a joining so you just pull it apart like so and i'm going to take that centerpiece out and that's it so i've sprayed it gold so you'll need that you will also need oops sorry about that you will also need a foam square for um putting your flowers in your floral display and this is one um for artificial flowers they do do another oasis which is for fresh flowers which you soak in water this come in a block of seven and a half inches by four and a quarter but i've cut it down to fit my charger plate which is um, one that I decorated before in a previous tutorial that I showed you. And I've cut it down so that it will fit inside that base there. And that's it. And that's how it's going to fit. Okay. You also need your, your spray paint of whichever colour you choose. I also bought this LED candle from the range. Um, I cannot remember the size of this, but it was four ninety nine. And what I have done is I've actually mixed some Mod Podge and some of the gold glitter dust, and I have coated it. Um, let me get a bit closer so that you can see it's a bit shimmery there. And um, I did three coats with that to get it looking like that. But this time I didn't particularly want to spray the candle gold because I wanted that that finish. And then what I'm going to do also, it's some bling wrap, you know I love my bling wrap, just going to put it around half of the candle there, okay, and some good old faithful E6000 glue, hot glue again, my gemstone droplet from the range, now I've extended this one to seven of those drops there. And they normally naturally come with five there and I've shortened this one to three that I'm going to be using also and I've got some artificial flowers here and um, this I believe is a eucalyptus garland which I'm going to use around the hoop and I've got some hydrangea there and some roses which I'm going to use in my display so let's get started so the first thing that i did was to coat my um my candle like i said that was three coats and i had to leave it to dry in between each coat so i did that first and of course i sprayed my hula hoop and um my charger plate i'd done before and um, if you didn't want to use a charger plate you could use um something much smaller or even like um a small round block that you could use so the next thing I'm going to do now is to hot glue my foam on the charger plate just get that out. so just lots and lots of hot glue you can't have too much of the hot glue when you're doing this project <laughs> already 
then I am just going to get my hula hoop and what I am going to do is to actually place the hula hoop inside the foam brush there, the foam block there, but I'm going to use some hot glue also to make sure that it is secure. So I'll just do one end at a time. So if you like what you are seeing, please remember to like, subscribe, share and comment. So while that is setting, I'm just going to apply the bling wrap around my candle. And before I do that, I'm just going to indent this a little bit here. That's it. just so that I know where I am going to be placing that. Let me just move that over here. I'm just gonna put a bit of hot glue just around the one side of the bling wrap. And just attach it to the candle. And just go all the way around. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Just like that. And secure it the other side. So there you go. better. So now I'm just going to use my little knife tool here and just to cut out a little bit of the foam so that the camera will just sit. Sorry, not the camera. What am I talking about? So that the candle will sit inside there. So I don't need it very deep, but just go all the way around. Probably should have done this before I attach the foam, but never mind. You can do it either way. Just going to use 
some of the hot glue to secure my garland around the um, hula hoop base. Oh, she's so long. Here we go. Around there, that's good. In fact, I could put some of that in there. And then once again, a bit of the hot glue just to secure it. Wait for that to set. Turn the hot glue down. Turn the glue gun down. To Right, so now that I have completely attached the eucalyptus garland around the frame of the hula hoop, now I'm going to go and put our um, hydrangea flowers in the foam and then I shall insert the other flowers. So just push them in there. Now if you wanted to, you could put some floral, green floral display on the tray but I'm not going to because it's going to be predominantly covered with the um, hydrangea flowers. <laughs>
I was going around the hoop as well and for that I will definitely need to use my um, hot glue gun. Actually, let me just cut these a bit shorter. didn't cut them short all I did was just pull the the wire stem out from the flowers side of the hoop just here can you see that just on the outside there just to disguise or to hide the hoop there Keep it on without burning my fingers. Just going to use one of those little branches just to hold it down. But do be careful with the hot glue. It is very, very hot. And that was me turning it down to 60 watts when I burnt my fingers. <laughs> just to place the candle in the center there I'm just going to take this forward and just spread that out as you can see I've got that gap there where I didn't put any flowers and that's where my candle is going to sit just like so now if you wanted to because this is an LED candle and it's not remote control I'm not going to secure it in there because I need to lift it out to put the to put the lights on. So that will just stay just like that. 
and then once you have decided like I've decided that this is going to be the front as it's facing you and the camera um so that's going to be the front of my display so I'm going to hang my um crystal droplets now it's very much up to you whether you want to uh, um, attach those or not so because this side is not as decorative as on the on my right which would be your left so I'm going to have my longest crystal drop starting on what would be your right my left so let's attach those and it's optional you don't have to add these but I like a bit of bling so I'm just going to put that on there just slightly off center and then the next size in just just there and I'm just using the top of the garland to attach them on if you want to you can actually um, glue them on as well and I cannot find the third one where are you hmm okay I had it not so long ago right I'll find the third one and um, attach it and then I will show you oh here it is <laughs> sorry there you go and that's the third one there oops which has fallen inside my candle there you go I'll just put some more hot glue so as I've mentioned on numerous occasions, please subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification button so that you will be notified when I put my next video up. Okay, so that's that. So let's go and show you how to use it in a display. There you have it, the completed item. What do you think of this? It is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, and this could be used on a gift table um, or you could use it as your centerpiece for all your tables. The choice is yours. If you wanted it on the centerpiece for your tables, you could do something smaller or you could go even bigger. The choice is yours. You can choose your flowers for your decor. And um, this um, card box, which I'm still in the process of completing, and um, these have been done with picture frames and the picture frames are also from the range. So if anyone would like to know how to make this um, card box, let me know and I will do you a tutorial on it, but using much smaller picture frames I did start to end video with and it was taking me so long. I've abandoned it and I still haven't completed it yet. But wow, isn't that beautiful? I'm just going to go in closer and take the candle out so that you can see what it would look like without the candle. And can you see those crystal droplets? Now, let me just take the candle out. There you go, without the candle. Of course, you would have more flowers on the base. Um, so yeah, so that would be much more fuller and I would probably let the crystal droplets be longer so that you can see them more, they'll fill that space. But yes, the choice is yours. You could go to town with this design. You could have less greenery, more of the gold hoop showing through, yes. You can do with this what you like. Please drop me a note. Please comment. Please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so that you'll know when my next upload has been done. And please share this video. Take care. Au revoir for now. Bye-bye. This is Becoming Events by Eileen.